Okay, so you don't have no type of like humiliation kink either? Humiliation? Yeah. You never heard of humiliation kink? I think I know what you're saying, but can you break that down just so for me? I have I have OnlyFans subscribers who yeah. want me to tell them just how pathetic they are. So I'll send them like voice messages like because a lot of them have girlfriends. So they'll tell me like, oh, my girlfriend just left. Can you talk to me? Like I'll pay you such and such. Before I even start, they'll send me like $100 or $200 just for me to talk to them. So I'll tell them like, you're so fucking pathetic. I bet when you fucked her, she didn't even feel anything. How does that make you feel? I bet you're wondering who I'm fucking and it's not you. I bet you would be sitting in the corner beating your dick or something like that. They want to hear all of that and they love it. <laughs> what it do, everybody? And thanks for tuning in to the Day by Day podcast for your day by day broadcast. I'm your host, Day with an I, not a Y, do not X, Y. And today I have a great one for y'all because we are joined by recording artist, content creator, entertainer, the one and only, ladies and gentlemen, E Niece is in the building. What to do? Yes. Hey. <laughs> What's up? You are here. We are here. Shout out to everybody that made this happen. Shout out to everybody in the background. First and foremost, yes. we got Ralph JD for setting this up. What's your name, my man? Bands. Bands. With a Z at the end or an S? I fucking knew it. <laughs> I fucking knew it. But uh, we ready to get into this shit, man. E Niece, uh, yes. thanks for joining. Of um, course. I'm going to dive straight into this topic. Newly artist. Yes. Right? How uh -huh. long have you been doing music as of today? Um, well, officially doing music, shit, well, like, about a month ago. Yeah? Hey, you gotta start somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, I was raised in the church, in the choir, singing, writing songs my whole life, playing the guitar and everything, but this is the first time that I'm actually making it official, making something of it. What made you want to step into the realm? My people around me, Jay, JD, he kind of saw that that was something that I've always wanted to do. Mm -hmm. um, and I kind of put that dream on the back burner just because when you grow up, a lot of the dreams that you have, they kind of die out. So uh, I kind of fell victim to all that. And then Jay came in and was like, nah, fuck that. Mm. We getting back into it. Shout out to Jay for that. Shout out to him for real. <laughs> Why do you think that is that like dreams that we have and imaginations that we have is like a younger person when we grow up, that shit kind of dies out? Because when you're young, you don't really have many responsibilities. All you know is wake up, eat, go to school, talk to friends, go home, watch TV. Like, you don't know too much outside of that. Mm. Especially for That's me, I was point. very sheltered. So, like, I just knew what I wanted to do when I grew up. And then I grew up and I was like, damn, mm. money, bills. <laughs> Where'd you grow up at? Uh, so I was born in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina, okay. 252. Um, but I lived in Connecticut for most of my life. CT New Haven. In the building. New Haven in the building. Yes, sir. Is that where uh, Aaron Hernandez from? Is Connecticut? Ain't he from? I don't, know. I, don't know who, I don't know who that is. He was a nigga that played with the pig. Hold on, let me take that back. My grandmother said I cuss too much. <laughs> He's the dude that played with the Patriots that like was murking shit. See, that's where you fucked up. I don't know sports. Okay, got you. So I no don't sports like sports. at all. No, absolutely no not. I don't understand the appeal. Okay. Um so okay, you grew up in C T, uh you grew up in a church. That yeah. usually leads to a music career for the most part with many artists and whatnot. Yeah. At some point. Um so what was what was the music intake like for you growing up? Um it was a lot of gospel, obviously. Um and I love gospel. I love, you know, I got my own relationship with the man upstairs. Mm -hmm. um, but I always felt like it was just too, it wasn't enough. Like, I had all these different feelings that I wanted to sing about. Like what? Um, <laughs> I was very in tune with who I was at a young age, but I didn't know if I could express it without being judged about it. Mm -hmm. So, like, from a very young age, I already knew what my sexual orientation was. Which bisexual. Okay. Yeah. So a lot of those feelings like I, I wrote out in song, wrote out in mm -hmm. poem form, and it I just didn't think it would be accepted because the church that I was in, you know, black churches mm -hmm. where they'd be like, Is there if there's not a man and a woman in the house, your your kids will burn. <clears throat> so was that brought to the eyes and ears of the church you grew up in, in oh, Connecticut? Absolutely. How did that turn out? Um as much as as well as you would expect. Um, I had some people who kind of put me, pushed me to the side and was like, oh, 
you're not supposed to think like that. You're not supposed to say these things. You're not supposed to. Why don't you go home with your dad and you pray about it, okay? Mm. Yeah. So how did you think and feel like when you were here, people kind of, you know, saying that's not right? I felt like, damn, you getting, you're getting kind of deep. This day <laughs> at night. Um, I felt. Dr. Day. I can't with you. I felt kind of watered down in a sense. Because, like, I knew in my heart that, like, they didn't mean anything malicious by it. Mm -hmm. But it still came off as malicious. Did you feed into it or did you say, okay, I hear you. I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do at the end of the day. I, yeah, I, I ended up doing what the fuck I wanted to do at the yeah. end of the day. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you, Winnie. Seriously, good for you. Thank you. All right, so then, you know, that was the gospel part, but you felt like it was a urge to kind of go outside of the gospel. Yeah. So then what came next, music-wise? So um, a lot of depressing shit came after that. It's um, part of life. Yeah, I wrote a lot of really depressing, like, melodic ballads. And I started learning how to play the guitar. I started doing a whole bunch of covers of shit. So, I mean, I was stepping into my own. But I was sad as hell. Mm -hmm. So it was a little hard to step into my own when I was so sad all the time. But is that something like you dealt with through music? Oh, yeah. Okay. Which yeah, is, music is, is definitely is, therapy. Yeah. yeah. We all need some type of, like, escape or therapy. And yeah. You, you know what I mean? We need yeah. that shit. We definitely. need that shit. <laughs> all right. So you you was playing guitar. Um, were there any, like, guitarists that you idolized, like, growing up, playing after and whatnot? I don't know um, if there's something I'm going to challenge my guitar skills right now. Because, I mean, I, as you can see, I, I don't really play the guitar much anymore because mm -hmm. my nails kind of get in the way. Mm -hmm. um, shit. Guitarist inspiration. Yeah, yeah let's, let's, let's do this. Who's the greatest guitarist? <sighs> I don't fucking know. And you... <laughs> Well, let's, I have no clue. let's do this. Let's just pick my man's right here, just for just for Pete's sake. We'll go with oh, Jimmy? Jimmy. Yeah, we'll go with man's Jimmy for Pete's sake. Oh, yeah, we'll go with Jimmy. Yeah, that's that my helps dog. you sleep at night. Yeah, it does. Yeah, we'll go with Jimmy. It does. That's my dog. <laughs> you want to know why? Like, it's a Jimmy Hendrix post right here. It's a bobblehead and it's a tattoo on my leg. Like, it's kind of weird, I guess. Now that I just pointed it out, but the reason is because my first third eye experience was listening to Hey Joe by Jimmy Hendrix. Third not, eye. Yeah. Interesting. And not only that. He's a Sagittarius, a November Sagittarius, oh. which you only have five days to do such. You're squinting your eyes right now. Can uh, I ask what the reason of that is? Because Sagittarius men and women are fucking psychotic. Nah, we be chilling. <laughs> Just the way you said that, <laughs> <laughs> it makes me feel like you know y'all crazy. <laughs> y'all know y'all crazy. What are you? I'm a Capricorn. I I don't I don't know. I'm a December Capricorn. Christmas Day. Oh, you had to oh Christmas Day. Yeah, God's gift to the motherfucking earth. So you know what I'm saying. I fuck with that. Right. So what was that like growing up? Did you like it or oh not like it? Because God. all the gifts were on the same day. It fucking sucked. Oh, man. I was in constant competition with Jesus mm -hmm. and then a, a imaginary fat white man. So mm. it just wasn't it wasn't it. I mean, when and I was a baby, I got a whole bunch of gifts. Yeah. Then as I started growing up, it yeah. became less and less and less. Damn, I would definitely, if I was your friend, family, <laughs> or any type, I would definitely knock two birds out with one stone. Here's your Christmas and B-Day gift. One that's gift, one $20 gift. That's so but that's messed just me because I'm cheap. But did, did that happen? I'm pretty sure that happened, right? Yes. Yeah. And they were, I've blocked family members for saying Merry Birthday. Oh, shit. Because no, you didn't just mm. splice that. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Merry Birthday, yeah. now you're blocked. Yeah, that is different. Mm -hmm. Um. All right, so... What other type of music did you listen to growing up that kind of, you know, fuels your music tank, if you would? Oh, shit. I listened to a lot of different things. Um, my mom was a big part of my musical uh, inspiration. Mm -hmm. um, I listened to a lot of old rock, like the Bee Gees. Uh, what is that band called? Toto. I love Africa. It's one of my favorite songs. Um, Journey, ACDC, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Rolling um, Stones. Rolling, oh, yeah. Rolling Stones. Queen. Bohemian. Yes. Bohemian Rhapsody is one of my favorites. Um, I, I, I personally think Bohemian Rhapsody, top three greatest songs, any genre of anything of all definitely, time. Definitely. Definitely. It's so, it hits every single genre Literally. in one song. A lot of range in that song. A lot of range. Yeah. Opera's in that song at one point. It is. I don't yeah. really fuck with opera. 
But I'm, it's a me weird. neither, but it's in there. But, it's, it, but it, it I don't works hear for that no song, opera yeah. neither, but it's, it's, <laughs> it's fucking in there. I just, you know, had to give shout out to, you know, Freddie Mercury and all of them. Did, oh, yeah. you see, did you see the movie? Oh, yeah. You know what's funny? I just recently watched it. Yeah. Just recently. What was your take really on good. it? I think they did a good job of who they picked to play Freddie Mercury. They did. I didn't think that he would be a good fit. I forgot what his name is. I didn't think he would be a good fit, but, yeah. you know, with the teeth and everything, he I was just like, like oh, okay, him. yeah, look just like yeah. him. Yeah. Did a good job. Yeah, that's a sad story. Yeah, it was it was going down back then, man, with like the the AIDS epidemic and whatnot. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, speaking of which, do you think Easy E really caught it, or did Suge Knight set him up? <laughs> Why and did I know that I, was that, coming? That may sound ignorant. I'm sorry if that sounds ignorant. I just want to get down to the nitty gritty. R.I.P. Easy E. Yeah, R.I.P. Um, I I'm big on conspiracies. So like everyone's crazy till they're not right exactly. So mm-hmm. I'm I'm big on thinking that Tupac is somewhere in Cuba. You know what I'm saying? Like he might be. He I'm, I feel like he is, but I mean I don't know if Easy E really caught it because I feel like there was a whole bunch of back and forth going on. Yeah. I low-key feel like so he was taken sudden. out. Yeah, I feel like he was taken out. What about Magic Johnson? <sighs> he had it. You oh, think he Magic had it? Wait, is he still alive? Yeah, Magic. Okay. <laughs> Yo. Okay, I'm sorry. Ain't that ain't he like in basketball or something? Yeah. I'm, okay. I forgot you're not sports. Okay. Yeah, I'm just okay. Sports. I forgot. I forgot you're not sports. I'm sorry. Magic is cool. <laughs> Magic Johnson is still alive. Oh, okay. Good. So he beat it. Yes. He caught HIV. <laughs> <laughs> he caught HIV, and uh, apparently, what what happened with Magic? Does anybody like he? Got cured. I don't know. I don't know. A lot of people say he never had it. A lot of people say he got paid to be like an awareness spokesperson for it. That's my grandmother. That's you want to talk about up. conspiracy theories? My grandmother is on that shit heavy. Oh my god! Shout out to mama. She tunes into my episodes. She's one. How can Africa you just slash. walk around saying, "Yeah, I got it," and you don't got well, it? I don't know. Well, that's what she thinks. Oh, that's but, crazy. I mean, money talks. Mm-hmm. He was with the Lakers. He's a star point guard of the Lakers. Had like five or six ships and catches HIV. And he admitted he was running through shit. Magic was running through shit. Oh. Them Lakers, it's a show. Y'all watch the show? You, It's a show. It's on Hulu, right? Yeah. We about to watch that. Yeah, yeah. watch that shit. I heard the Magic was running through shit. Mm-hmm. I don't know if he caught up to Wilt Chamberlain. Wilt Chamberlain's running through shit, too. What is he, like, Mr. 1000? 10,000? 1000. So apparently Wilt Chamberlain allegedly slept with 1,000 women. That's nasty. <laughs> And that's I don't nasty. know if they was wrapping up like that back then. Oh, no, absolutely nah, not. No, they wasn't wrapping up. That's, oh, that's why it was nasty. such an epidemic. Community dick. That's yeah. disgusting. Yeah, CD. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, we'll, we'll get back to that in just one moment. So oh uh, back to the music. Um, mm-hmm. So, okay, we got to where you started, where you went, and where you're at now. Uh-huh. So now you're making music. Yeah. Now. <laughs> Hit song, Just Drop Ecstasy. Yes. First off, how did that even come about, the the theme of the song and even the title? Where did that come from? So um, pretty much it was based on who I was and like what I present myself as. So pretty much like I told you before, I'm bisexual. I'm very fluid with who I am. I show people who I am. I'm very transparent with mm-hmm. that. Um, so ecstasy was really just like J, JD, he put together just what he, you know, saw as me and we just went forward with that he didn't even bruh he didn't even tell me what the song sounded like he didn't give me no lyrics he just said you know what we go into the studio and we got to the studio and that was the first time i heard it first time i saw any lyrics for it and he was just like yeah just take a shot and do what you got to do <laughs> what were your thoughts when you first heard it and saw I, loved the it. Yeah. I loved it it love was it was so out of character for mm. me. Well, yeah. not like not like out of character. How could I say? Some something that I wasn't exactly comfortable with doing because I so? didn't because I haven't sung in so long. Mm. I haven't been on stage in so long. Like I put myself out there, yeah, but behind the camera, like yeah. TikTok and Instagram. That's easy to do because I could do that from home. Right. Being in an actual recording studio with JD and everybody there, it was. Oh mm-hmm. gosh, it was nerve wracking. It was scary. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, did it, I didn't hear any nervousness in the vocals from the song, so. And that's because I took a shot of Casamigos. <laughs> That'll help. That'll help. That'll help. Oh yeah. As soon as that shit hit, I was mm-hmm. like, yeah. Mm-hmm. I said, run it back. <laughs> so let me ask you this, and uh, I wish I had a mic for you, JD. Something told me to plug in a third microphone, but. It seems like that's the type of song that will do great with like uh, reels. 
on IG and oh, TikTok. Yeah. I even saw a young woman like skating to it. Yes. Right. Yes. So like when it goes to making music, especially with that one, the ecstasy, like is that in the thought process? Like I want it to be something that people create content to because content is king, queen, and fucking ruler of yes, today. You know what I mean? Honestly, yeah. yeah. Did that go into it? Yeah, absolutely. Because yeah. I, I mean, obviously I've, I've loved music my whole life, but the main thing that got me where I am now is being a content creator. Mm. So when I got into the whole music aspect of things, like JD didn't even really have to worry about promotion or anything like that. Because like, I had it. I was yeah. like, oh yeah, this part of the song gonna be good for this type of reel. Mm. I'm gonna put this part on TikTok. I'm yeah. gonna. It was just. It was easy. It was just right. You saw it. I saw that. Yeah. The vision. Yes. Um, we're <laughs> gonna talk about content real quick. The definition of ecstasy. Noun. <laughs> An overwhelming feeling or great happiness or joy of excitement. Let me ask you. Oh my god. <laughs> what brings you ecstasy in life? Um, oh, I feel like that's a, damn, that's a vague question. There's Thank so you. many things. Give me three. Okay, three. Mm -hmm. Um, my friends, um, cause I, I never thought that I would have such a close knit friend group out here. Cause I just, I was a lone wolf in Connecticut. Really. I only really have one real friend out there. Um, when did you move to Charlotte? Oh gosh mid pandemic like okay. like i think december 2020 okay gotcha. so i've been out here for a little bit yeah. um but yeah my friends because they're definitely some of my number one supporters so they definitely make me feel good um my home life i've got <laughs> i've got a whole bunch of cats at home so i love them you're a cat mom cat woman i didn't think that i would love cats but yeah. i met this guy who likes cats and uh I got him some, and now we live together. So, <laughs> all right. How many cats do y'all have? Um, we have about oh gosh, we have five right now. That's a five. lot of yeah. fucking meows. <laughs> a lot of catnip. Yeah, a lot. Oh, a lot of catnip. Yeah, yeah. a lot of litter. A lot yeah. of things getting scratched up. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. What do you like about cats? Um, I like that they're independent. I don't have very. to like run behind them yeah, all the yeah, time because yeah, I love dogs. No, yeah. no shade. No tea. No shade to dogs, yeah, but. Yeah, yeah. I mean, cats, the like, damn. I, what? What would you just say? The Connecticut accent. How you said dogs. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. like I said, dogs. Yeah. You want me to sound like I'm from North Carolina? <laughs> nah, 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 dogs. Nah, 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 nah. Stay true. They love us Northerners out here. Not really. They do, but they hate us. Yeah, here. they hate us. We yo. take we taking up all the room. Good Lord. <laughs> the little real joint I dropped, yo, they uh -huh. came from my head. I'm not even from New York. I, they thought I was from New York, and they came mm -hmm. from my fucking head top. But that's neither here nor there. Um, continue. <clears throat> um, so yeah, my my home life, you know, mm -hmm. and then um, third one, something that makes me feel ecstasy the most, mm -hmm. uh, my self love. Yeah. Self love. Yeah, because that was very hard to come by. I was, it's so, it's so weird to talk about because people look at me and they think that I'm just like, I know that I'm all that. Mm -hmm. That was not a thing for mm. a very long time. Mm. When did it come around? Shit. And how oh did God. it come around? Um, I want to say, honestly, like last year, last year. Yeah. What brought it out of you? Um, making content. Making content and seeing like the the positive comments. I would get negative comments every now and then. Oh, it but comes with it. It comes with it, exactly. It comes with it. Yeah. So I would get a lot Fucking of positive fleas. Yeah. I would get a lot of positive comments and it started making me like look at myself different and then you know, the people that I have in my life, they were encouraging me a lot mm. and making me look at myself different. So it was just a, it was just a lot of like redirecting my mm -hmm. own energy. That that's what helped me to actually start loving myself. Nice, nice. Yeah. Shout out to those, shout out to your following that made you feel good about yourself. Yeah. And you have a fucking following. Let's I talk do. about that. <laughs> Let's talk about the content piece. You do oh, have yeah. quite a following. Yeah. Um, how did, how was this following even established, the content that you make? Like, how was this, where did this come from? Dude, it's so, it's so weird. I literally had 2,000 followers for like a good like five years. Okay. Just that, them 2,000, I was holding on to them. Yeah. Um, and then I started thinking to myself, like, I should just start making content. Mm. Like, I, sh I should just start posting stuff and like see what happens. And I mean, on TikTok, I went viral 
a couple years back. So on TikTok, I've always had like 30 something thousand or whatever. So TikTok wasn't much to me. So I was really trying to break on Instagram. Yeah. Because Instagram was hard to break. Right. Um, but I literally, I just started posting stuff. Certain stuff would get engagement and traction. Other stuff wouldn't. So I'm like, all right, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to really make it on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I posted this one video, bro. It's one video of me literally, it's called throwing hips. Mm -hmm. Where you you do the like the hip thing, yeah. I was doing that fully clothed. I wasn't making no suggestive faces. My mm -hmm. face, I was stone face. That shit went viral. How many views? To this day, one point six million views. Ooh. And when I tell up. you, I was watching the the following count go up day by day. It went from two thousand to like fifteen thousand in like four days, and I was like. Damn, off of that one video. Yes. That's all it takes is one fucking video. Off of that one video. Yeah. So when you saw that that one video catapulted you, mm -hmm. then what happened? Because, like, it's, you, it's one of two things that happens when people have a viral video like that. Either they take it for what it is, cool, I get them a few thousand followers and that's yeah. what it is, or they use that to leverage their next works of content. Yeah. Which one was it for you? Um... <laughs> It was a lot of stress and yeah. a lot of, because <laughs> I was like, damn, now they're going to expect more from uh, me. Okay. And it's like, I just want to do what I want to do. Like, right. I just want to be happy and like, you know, post what I want to post. Right. But um, after I got over the initial, like, overwhelming sense of like, I'm obligated to do this or that. After I got over that, I, I realized that I could use it to my advantage. And I just started posting a whole bunch of sexy shit. And mm -hmm. I mean, I have another platform. I don't know if you know about. But I have another platform. I that, okay. <laughs> Listen, I do my research. Oh shit. We're gonna talk about it. So I, yeah, I have another platform that I you know make content for. So I figured that would be a good way to you know get people to look at that and you know vice versa. So I was pretty much just trying to tie all of my platforms together, mm. and I feel like I've done that pretty well so that's, far. That's that's smart, and that's important that you said that because mm -hmm. you didn't just make content just for IG because mm -hmm. IG is great. It's very vast, mm -hmm. but it's free. Exactly. You don't get paid off IG no more. They don't pay us for ads on. They don't pay us for reels plays no more like they no, used to. No. Mark, you a sucker for that. They don't pay <laughs> us for that no more, right? No. <laughs> so you use that to tie into the other platform, which you was talking about, which is OnlyFans. Yes. Right? So you use that for <laughs> free marketing for your OnlyFans. Right. Do you have a YouTube? Um, so I do have a YouTube. I'm struggling low key because it, it, I'm not a YouTuber. Time, yeah, yo, it's a lot. It takes time. You have to have the right editing stuff and like the right camera because I shot it on my iPhone 14 Pro Max. Yeah. You think that that's going to be a good enough camera. It should. It should It be. should. But when you post it to YouTube, like if you don't have the correct editing stuff, it's going to look real choppy. What are you using to edit? Uh, nigga, I don't know. See. <laughs> All right, what have, what am I using? CapCut? I think it's called CapCut. CapCut is cool. You can save it for a can CapCut. Do you have yeah. um? Do you have Final Cut Pro? Final. Well, I'm sorry. Do you have a MacBook? No, but I want one. Do you have any type of laptop? No. Get if anyone laptop. wants to, you need a laptop. Get me a laptop. Yeah, get a laptop. Oh, <laughs> that, is that how it works? <laughs> Shit, I wish. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Some of my, you know, OnlyFans people are pretty nice. So. Well, let's talk about OnlyFans. Um. Your only fans. Mm -hmm. Oh God! <laughs> if I really wanted to deep dive into it, I would have subscribed. subscribed yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if that's what we're, I ain't subscribed. I've never subscribed to the only fans. Not Why? because I don't support it. It's just because I'm cutting back from the whole porn first and foremost. And then second of all, I just yo like I. I understand why someone could subscribe. Like, say I'm somebody that's been following you for uh -huh. months. Oh yeah. And I'm like, damn, yo, I'm really feeling her. Like, uh -huh. <laughs> if I subscribe to your OnlyFans, that's personal. Uh -huh. That's a no-brainer. Makes you feel special. Yeah. yeah. Look, you know, that's why yeah. you do it. <laughs> but I've just, I've just never came across that yet. Oh, okay. Yet. Oh, okay. I don't, but, but I do like it. Like, there's some porn stars that I watched growing up that I, they have OnlyFans, and I'm like, damn, I would, but. It's just so easy to click on my it tab, is. a tab, and click on spankbang.com and type <laughs> in Ebony or Ebony Squirters. And 
You know what I'm saying? Or Ebony BDSM and, oh, and yeah. just go crazy. You know? it's just so it. e- yeah, it's just so easy to do that. Respect. But enough about me. Let's talk about the OnlyFans. <laughs> um, so it's different forms of OnlyFans from the oh, yeah. most modest type from girls just posting feet photos to yeah. extremes where girls are, you know, putting phones down their assholes. Yeah. There's even this girl who goes to uh, gas stations and she puts the pump in her mouth. Like she'll she'll suck on the pump. Yeah. Really? Does she yeah. put something over it for protection? I don't know. Jesus, that's dangerous. Yeah, she kind of wild for real. Lord have mercies, that's dangerous. I would yeah. like to see that for... <laughs> <laughs> you going to have to subscribe. <laughs> yeah, well, she lost me there, but now nah, I play. Um, so, all right, so your OnlyFans, like what type of content is it? Well... And the game is to be sold, not to be told. So don't give okay. something that they oh, can yeah. get. You know, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, it's it's... It's good content. I, I wouldn't say that it's, you know, modest. Like, I don't really be showing my feet or whatever. Um, I don't really like my feet like that. It's good money and feet. Yeah, I mean, I heard. Yeah. And I'm, I'm looking into some other apps about that. Because I, I mean, that steps on raw chicken and she gets paid. I'm going to have to get some raw chicken. Yeah. We're going to get some raw chicken after this. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. your feet have to be pretty. Your feet cool? My feet are pretty. We don't. No, nah, I wasn't going to ask to. Okay, I was about to say because. Nah, you're good, you're good, you're good. Right. We're not too old. Nah, nah, but go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> not right now. Yeah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get my toes done. It's just. Mm. I wouldn't put you in the spot. You're good. But yeah, no, the, the OnlyFans content is very much. Um, how, how can I say, like. Because it's not amateur anymore. Because not only do we have the OnlyFans, it's on uh, PH as well. What's PH? You know oh, what PH is? My fault, my fault. Okay. My fault. No, I was about no. to say, you have I to just, know. I've never, I've never went to PH. Like, I mean, I mean, I go, I get it. It's PH, so it's yeah, PH. But yeah. like, I don't know. I feel like the major joints like don't be showing enough love to Ebony, Ebony actresses. I mean, that's why they have categories. They have yeah, a lot but, for I mean, the like, They don't update them shits like the other joints. That's just my opinion. Yeah, I get Let me that. Show off the swoosh right quick. Oh my god. But um, <laughs> all right. Okay, so you're on PH as well, and all right. So like, when it comes to OnlyFans, you said you have it on PH. Is the PH from your OnlyFans? Uh, so the PH is mainly used as promo for the OnlyFans. Okay. So the PH will have like snippets and stuff, and it'll have mm-hmm. you know the OnlyFans name and mm-hmm. like how you can access it and everything, just to get more views and to get more people to you know actually go over to the OnlyFans. Is that how that works? Yeah, because we don't put the whole video right. on PH because then that's really giving away. You don't free pay, content. you don't put the paid content on only on exactly. uh, on the hub. Um, yep. Ah, because mm-hmm. I'll see it. I, me personally, I have a website called Spank Bang. I shouldn't even say that. I'm gonna bleep that out, but. <laughs> I have a website called Spank Bang. <laughs> that that's my website. I don't do porn up. or Twitter. Twitter is amazing too. Twitter's porn. You you can ask anybody. So, so my bet- Twitter is yeah. so bad. Yeah. Yeah. So it's between so Twitter bad. and my website, like I see the videos and it'll have like the OnlyFans handle on it. Yeah. I'm thinking that's videos that dudes took illegally from their OnlyFans and oh. posted it to it. But you're saying that you'll ask like like. OnlyFans creators will submit that yep. and use that for promo. I mean, there are a lot of people who take the videos, mm. you know, without permission illegally. Yeah. Um, I don't have that problem because, you know, I sue niggas. So So how how can you tell? Like, is it as easy as someone either screen recording or taking another phone and recording the screen? How does that work? I've always wondered, like, for taking someone's content off OnlyFans, like, yeah. how can they do it? And how can you prevent someone or be alerted when someone does that? So it's so funny because I have, you know, the the... Typical disclaimer, you know, if you take this video, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you made it very clear that if you take my shit, I'm going to sue your ass. Very clear. Um, So it's gotten to the point where, like, I have the OnlyFans subscribers that I have, they're pretty loyal. So whenever they see my content anywhere else that they know I haven't posted, Mm -hmm. they'll always send it to me. Oh, that's hard. And they're like... I don't think you posted this. Yeah. Look at this. And I'll yeah. look at it and it'll be my whole video. Uh, and so what I'll do, I'll message them and I'll be like, hey, yo, take this down in 24 hours. You'll message the person that posted uh-huh. it? Is it on like a Twitter page or like a website? No, it'll be on some like weird rinky dink amateur like porn site. Mm. Like the last one that I saw was something like, I don't even know what it was called, but it was, so it was, it was, it was unprofessional. The whole yeah. website just looked rinky dink. Mm. 
And I messaged him. I was like, bro, take this shit down. You messaged the website that? I messaged the dude who posted it. Oh, uh, okay. The account. That, uh-huh. Okay, that's what you're saying. I yeah, told yeah. him, I said, if you don't want to get sued, yeah. you might want to take this shit down in 24 hours. And what happened? He took it down within an hour. Yeah, sense. <laughs> Usually sense. I just hit them with like, I will, I will take legal action. Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh. And they take that shit down. Nice. So, um... The types of content that you put on your OnlyFans, the bio, uh, it was it was a list. It was quite a, it was quite a list. I saw <laughs> what like costume. Yeah, cosplay. Cosplay. Um, was it Dom Dominatrix? Is that what it's Dom? Said? Yes, Dom? I like to be dominant. Yeah. Well, let's well let's do this. Let's show love to the only side of your OnlyFans. Uh, you don't do it. This isn't solo content, right? <laughs> I mean, I do solo content, yeah. Okay, so it's a mix. Yeah, it's a mix. Um, I have um, someone that I do the majority of my videos with, my person. Your person? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, I have just a whole bunch of other, like, a, a lot of it is solo content. Mm. Um, sometimes I do exclusive content, but I've kind of like cut down from that because these niggas, they think because they paying for your content, they own you or something. What do you mean by that? Like they'll message me and they'll be like, I bought a subscription. I want this and I want you to wear purple socks and put up the number two and r- rub your nipples and uh-huh. also hop on one foot. Like they be mm. asking for some crazy shit oh, wow. and I'm like, ain't nobody yeah, you're, doing you're that. The hi- you are their ecstasy, pun intended. Like, you know, so you know. they don't, that's... Every all of their like horniness energy is focused <laughs> towards you. So like you are their fantasy, you're their ecstasy, you're their entertainment, you're their mother, you're their grandmother, you're everything to them. So like they oh. want that from you. Like have you ever given that to them? Um, when I first started my OnlyFans, I felt like I'm I was obligated to do it mm-hmm. just because I was like, you know, they're right. Okay, they you, are paying you try to for feed the into content. Your following. Yeah, I tried to feed into it, but after a while, it got kind of like like demanding. Mm. And I literally had one person say, like, I'm paying for this, so you owe me this. And I was like, oh, hell no. Mm. I was Out like, here go, yeah, how, how, much, how much a month do you charge? $12.99. $12.99? Yes. How many followers do you got? I Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah. You really ballpark, want me to tell you? Ballpark, ballpark, ballpark. Okay, so when over I first... Over blank, over blank. Over 500. Really? Mm-hmm. That's some good fucking chicken. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Raw chicken? Step on that yeah, shit. raw chicken. Yo, I'm telling you, <laughs> yo, Christine Marie, if she tuning in, holla, holla at your niece right now, yo. Like, tell her, tell her what's good with your raw chicken endeavors. I would like to know. Yeah, like I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna get her on the show actually. But um, Please. that's good chicken. Let me ask you, have you ever? So I saw that. Uh, have you ever like given back to the OF community? What I mean by that is, have you ever done any type of like? Uh, raffle giveaway or any type of appreciation you know how some people have like meetups you know what i'm saying <laughs> it can start from as as low to like meetups where i saw this one girl on no jumper who says like no jumper she like uh-huh. smashes one of her fans or some shit like of course i'm, I'm listen i'm not saying you do, i'm just telling you the oh levels God, i'm just telling crazy. you the levels of how it goes <laughs> but i i say that to say have you ever like done or considered doing like any type of like giveaway for like a fan Maybe you could like send them like a pair of used underwear. So I'm sure they would love that. It's crazy that you brought up the used underwear thing because I have someone who wants them, but um, I haven't I haven't done anything like that just yet. No, um, I have a lot of people who want to like collab, and I I don't want to do that. I'm just not comfortable with doing any of that. Like meeting up with them, maybe possibly. You have to take very vast precautions. Yeah, I've had that. stalkers in the past. I'm pretty so sure. So I, some that's terrifying. Oh, some yeah. Ted bunnies behind the screens. Out oh, here, absolutely, man. absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Um, but yeah, it, well, since I said it on air on the record, uh, if you do do the used underwear joints, can I get like five fucking percent or something? I mean, I'm just saying, like, you haven't done it yet. <laughs> And if you just end up doing it out of nowhere, can I just get like $200? You know what I mean? But um, Why? You said why? Yeah. So that I can use it to put put it back into this. All my money goes into this. So I could just use it for productive reasons. It will be donated okay. to good causes. That's why it will be donated okay. to good causes. I'm going to believe you. I'll yeah. get back with you on it. Nah, I don't trick off and I barely go out even though I'm going out tonight. I don't I don't be throwing, I don't be running through my money like I used to. Why not? Because. You're going to make it back. Yeah, but why not make it back two times as much? 
Okay, that's that's true. Yeah, I'm gonna get to a point where like it's nothing. Yeah. But I'm not at that point now. Like it's yeah. kind of like nothing, but it's not completely nothing. Yeah. I want it to to be where a point where it feel like a fly landed on me. Oh, the fuck out of here. Right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. It's not there yet. It's more yeah. so like a. I don't know. A mosquito bit me right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like okay. I'm, I'm not at the point where a fly landed on okay. me. Okay. Yeah, I don't like bugs anyway. So. Hell nah. Mm-mm. Beyonce was in town. Did you go to the show? No, I was at work. Oh, man. <laughs> would you have gone if not at work? Oh, my God, yeah, I would have went. Yeah. I would have went. I have so many coworkers who were, like, playing with me, saying that I was on stage. People like to call me Beyonce. People call you Beyonce? Yeah, I don't understand why, but they do. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm right. trying to see who you look like. I don't look like anybody. I, In my opinion, I don't feel like I look like anybody. I mean, Beyonce, like a, a caramel color. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. You're more like... Uh, Light bright. Yeah. Are Very you biracial? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that question. <laughs> Listen, my, my grandfather is a lot of white, so I got It's annoying because I didn't know that I had white in my family until I went to the family reunion like a couple months ago and I saw this Stuart little looking ass nigga walking across the thing and I was like I said, Who the fuck is that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> And my dad goes, that's your cousin. And mm. I was like, I said, oh, okay. So my cousin is the black girl that he talking to. But he just like cousin, you know, because he with her. And he was like, nope. no, that's your cousin. Timothy was your cousin. Bro, I almost hit the fucking floor. I almost hit the floor. All right. I got to ask this. I got to say this. I got to say this. This is day by day we speak our truths. Uh-huh. You say you didn't know you had white in your family. No. You're, you're yellow. So how did you, how did you... <laughs> How did you not know, in a good way, you're a yellow bone, I should say. Yeah. So how did you not figure that you had white in your family? Because I knew that I had a whole bunch of other stuff in my family. Like that what? I felt a trip contributed to it. Like what? I'm Asian. Okay. Native American. Okay. And black. Oh, wow. So so I thought okay. that the Asian part, okay. you know, was... Because okay. my eyes, you know, yeah. and the, I, I thought it was that. And Just then I saw this Macaulay Culkin dude walking across the... He was family. Did you ever take a DNA test? Um, I took a DNA test that told me like the different parts, like the different uh, ethnicities that I was. Which were uh, Asian, black, black, and Native American, and, nothing, and it told it me all the different tribes. European? No. Oh wow! So that was a complete shock to you. A complete shock. All right. So now it makes sense. Yes. Okay. I can see Asian, Native American, and black being turning yes. out to be. I can see that now. And then I get called a Caucasian woman all of the time. And then I have I have blonde hair naturally. Well, not naturally, but I bleach my hair blonde. So, like, with my hair being blonde, mm-hmm. it don't make it any better. Sure don't. I get called Caucasian all the fucking time. Mm. So now knowing that I actually do have white in my family, it mm. was just, it hurt. It hurt a do little you, extra. Do you know <laughs> what, um, what part of Europe? No clue. And mm. I don't want to find out, babes. I'm good. Gotcha. <laughs> I mean, it's un yo. It's a lot of Americans, Black Americans, that if they were have if they were to have taken the DNA ancestry test, whatever, a lot of European will show up. And the reason is because a lot of our ancestors was was raped, were pillaged, were raped. Yes, is what it is. That's exactly how it is. My grandfather, he is lighter than you. He was lighter than you. And, I'm not um, the lightest in the room anymore. Nah, <laughs> he was lighter than you. And um, according to my mother, he never told me this, but according to my mother, like he's from Alabama, mm. you know, in the country, dirty South. Mm. So he really technically never knew who his father was, but he's light as hell. Mm. And he said when he was a little boy walking around in Birmingham, Alabama, a lot of like white, older white men will come up to him and say, "I'm your dad." Right, just a bunch of them just walking uh, up well, to him. Well, more than one. I don't want to make it sound like oh. my great grandmother <laughs> was a slur, but oh, more okay. more than one. You okay. know what I mean? Like yeah. they were coming to him, <laughs> and it was a picture of him with like this dark skinned dude who claimed to be his father, but it was no way in hell that's his dad, based uh-huh. off of how light my grandfather was. Yeah, right. But I just say that to say that you know, a lot of us have it in us. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like yo, think about how tr- how attractive the black woman's body is. Mm-hmm. You mean to tell me for hundreds of years these slave owners and shit saw that shit walking around their fields and they want to ain't want to see what was happening? I mean, I feel like that's exactly why I got some yeah. white in me today. Yeah. Like- <laughs> 
Look at Andrew Jackson, that dirty motherfucker. He, they tried to cover that shit up. That nigga got plenty of nigga kids. Really? Hell yeah. Oh, you don't oh, know? Oh, actually, no. I think I saw a skit about that. Uh, Key and Peel. Yeah. Yeah. All the black people had Andrew Jackson what? as their ancestor. Yes. I'm pretty sure everybody is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five. I'm sorry. Blame the blame the tequila. It's five people in this room right now. I'm pretty sure all of us, some way, somehow, are tied back to Andrew Jackson, dirty I swear ass. To God. If we Hell have, yeah. if I have some sort of connection with Andrew Jackson, I'm pretty sure we that's do. That's crazy. We probably that nigga, do. That nigga, that nigga, yo, he got he, around. He liked brown sugar. He sure did. He liked his coffee with no cream. <laughs> Shit, I don't blame him, yo, yo. I mean, not not as far as the raping part, but I'm just saying, I like, to say. nah, nah, not as far as that. <laughs> Let me take that back. I just say I don't blame him as far as like just a craving for like your black, black. woman is 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 a fucking hypnosis mm -hmm. type of thing, you know. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't really like how light I am. Did you um face any scrutiny with that? Like being light growing up oh and whatnot? Oh my god, yeah. Um, even on like my socials, I've gotten called colorist a couple of times. Colorist? Yeah. Why and I've so? never done anything or said anything to colors means like you discriminate against color like i feel like my color is better than oh. like you know a, a darker woman's color mm. but i've always been the one to say like I, I say it just like this i wish i could crawl back up into my mom coochie mm -hmm. so i could cook a little bit more mm. and then come back out and be a little bit darker because yeah, i be like the light like, the whole light skin thing is uh, it's annoying to me is it it's very because you know everyone says like any 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 time a light-skinned woman gets praised if you would mm -hmm. the first thing they say is oh it's because she's light-skinned mm -hmm. did you hear that a lot coming up um yeah i heard it a lot uh you're you're pretty and light-skinned so mm -hmm. and i'm like well damn i i actually worked hard for a lot of the things that i have yeah i don't i, I don't want to sit here and think that it's because of the color of my skin right that's weird to me right it's, it's definitely a, a toxic trait a toxic trait amongst Americans where they automatically want to praise someone that's light skinned and maybe degrade yeah. someone that's dark skin. I see it. Yeah. And I've heard it because my grandfather was light skinned, like I said, and my grandmother's dark skin. Mm. So they both would say how growing up they had to deal with, you know what I'm saying, the scrutiny either being too dark or too light. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that was uh, tough. So, that, like, how did that, like, you know, how did you handle that? Like, when people would say, like, oh, you're only pretty because you're light-skinned or whatnot. Oof. Um, I mean, it definitely contributed to me not liking myself for a long time. Um wow. Made me feel like, I don't know. I don't know. It, like, it, it gave me another reason not to like myself. Yeah. Because everyone was just kind of like, oh... You look like that, so you get this. And I've I've heard mm. pretty privi privilege mm. so much, and that shit was annoying. Because like I said, I never really saw myself like that. Mm. I, sometimes to this day, I don't f see myself like that. I feel like my face is all, like, it's not symmetrical. Like, mm. I got weird things going on. So, I don't know. But, I mean, hearing you're only pretty because you're light-skinned, when I was younger, it would have made me cry, definitely. But if I were to hear that, hear that today, I'd probably laugh. Yeah. Probably laugh. I'm glad. I'm glad that the growth took place. Oh yeah. I'm glad that's where you at now. And um, just the part we said, like before, would have made you cry. It's crazy how like I'm pretty sure a lot of your followers seeing or hearing that would never have imagined because they just think, oh man, she's fucking gorgeous, making all this content. She just knows she just shit and always knew she was. But shit, we humans at the end of the day. Uh huh. I was a nerd, and I was like a little hefty back in the day too. Like, yeah. big draws. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was a little chubby thing. Wore glasses. My eyebrows were like Frida Kahlo. Really? Yeah, you had Anthony Davis. I sure did. Okay. I was a little goofy, nerdy. I wore big clothes all the time. I never combed out my goddamn ponytail, so I was wow. coming into school with this crazy rat's nest all the time. When did the transition? When did the transition take place? High school. High school, junior, senior year okay. is when I realized that, like, oh, niggas like me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, I got to I gotta start coming to school and, like, looking cute. Yeah. Um, but that kind of went to my head, and I kind of fell flat on my face. And that what, what is what humbled that? me. Um, so there was this person in high school. I'm not going to say no names because fuck that nigga. Okay. Um, but he, we were real close. And then um, he asked for nudes. 
and in I, high school, I in news high story. school, and I never like growing up. I didn't have a phone. I didn't have nothing. So <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. You know the the Hannah Montana cameras. Yeah, you took it on that. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> so I took it on that. I had to upload it to the computer, save it as a file and everything, and then I emailed that shit. You to went him. hard about it. <laughs> you I didn't have a phone. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I trusted him. What year was this? What year? Oh my god. What year did you graduate is, high school? I graduated high school 2016. Okay. Yeah. So this is like 2015, 2016. Gotcha. Yeah. And right. I, I didn't have a phone. I didn't have nothing. I trusted Damn, them. you didn't have a phone back then? No. My mom, she was very, like, big on... She was very old school. Mm. So that's another reason why I am the way I am. Like, people think that I'm... What, how do they... What do they call it? Um, shit, I'm, I'm very wise. They call me wise. Wise for my age, yeah. Yeah. So, like, no phones, no cable. We had a whole bunch of old-ass DVDs, old movies, um, old-ass TV... Uh, no with home the, phone. With, with the bubble in the back? Yes, with the sir. In the back? Yes, sir. Damn. Yes. All right. Um, <laughs> all right, cool. But anyway, so you sent it through. You uploaded yes, the file. Yes, I uploaded the file. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I sent it to him via email because that's how we used to talk. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought it was good. Like, every, I was friends with everyone. I, I just got the lead in my school musical for the first time ever. And then he got upset because after a while, it just we stopped having our meaningful conversations and he just wanted more nudes and he just wanted to keep the conversation sexual. And I was like, I don't really like this anymore. Like, this is kind of making me uncomfortable. Like, I kind of mm -hmm. want to stop doing this. Right. And he got upset with me. And the Did way that he retaliated, no, like it was okay. really just like yeah, yeah, the yeah, nudes. Yeah, just talking dirty. Yeah. And, and then we'd see each other in school and we friends. Okay. So, oh, like, it wasn't you. anything really for real like that. And so when he got mad about me not wanting to send that stuff anymore, I was like, damn. I was mm -hmm. like, what's wrong with you? We was friends mm -hmm. before this. Mm -hmm. So the way he retaliated was he showed everyone my nudes. Yep. Everyone got the pictures mm -hmm. around the school. Yep. My mom got upset. Mm -hmm. She took me out the musical. Mm -hmm. It just, it it made, I was all the way up here. It made yeah. me come tumbling all the way back down. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of women have that nude high school story, man. Mm -hmm. Fuck that nigga. Yeah, it's a lot of <laughs> niggas that fuck that money up. Did y'all have like one of those like pages that like put? Yo, we had a page. We had like oh a, yes, yeah, like a exposing page. people. Yeah, yes, exposed page. Yes, it was I, a Facebook page. Yeah, it was a yeah. Yes. Yo, I still don't know who ran ours, but goddamn, bro, yep. you made a lot of women crawl into their shell off that sure one. Sure did. You fucked it up. You fucked it up for a lot of real ones out here. Whoever ran mm -hmm. that shit, but goddamn. <laughs> I that's, never found myself on that page, surprisingly, thank God. You said you never did? No, that's I never good. saw me on, on there. That's good. That's Ever. Good. Those were treacherous times. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Real bad. Man. <laughs> For research purposes, I mean, I would just look all through them joints and it would be crazy. Yeah. For research purposes. <laughs> and it's funny because I would look through them sometimes and I would recognize one of my friends and I'm like, that's... I know that's who that who I think it is, mm -hmm. and they'll come to school the next day and they be like, "Oh, did you see that post of that girl who looks like me but isn't me? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, that's not me." Yeah. I'm like, "Girl, ain't nobody even ask you. Now well, I know it's you." <laughs> let me ask you this: I've never asked this to a woman who was like blasted with their nudes in high school. I yeah. know plenty of women have gone through that, and it's different from men. Mm -hmm. Like, if it's a porn video of, of us in high school, then it's like kind of like good for you, nigga. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> exactly. It's different for women. So, like, when you went through that, like, what was it like when you went back to school? Oh my god, it's like the movies. It's mm. like where the girl is walking down the hallway, she clutching her things and yeah. looking around, and everyone looking at you, but they probably not even looking at you right. and you think everyone talking about you but they probably not even talking about you right. like it's so much paranoia like oh my god i think i ate lunch in the bathroom for like a week oh, and a half really straight on some yes shit. on some mean girl shit yes damn. shameless type shit it was Sheesh. it was crazy damn i got my big one back though so so you got your big one back i sure did how so um he oh my god okay <laughs> So he was upset with me that I was upset with him. And I don't mm. know why he was upset with me. I, mm. I really don't get it. But he like confronted me one day and we were at the top of a, a, a top of the stairs. And I was with my other friend and I'm trying to push past him. Like he's trying to talk to me like he wants to talk. And I'm like, no, I don't want to talk to you. Like mm. you just blasted my news everywhere. Yeah, why yeah, would I yeah. want to talk to you? Right. He pushed me down the stairs. And I fell down the stairs. And my friend literally had to catch me from falling all the way down the stairs. And when I get upset, I black out. 
So all I remember is sprinting up the stairs. I don't remember shit after that. Mm. And my friends told me, like, they had to run outside and get me because I had this nigga by the collar and I was mm. pushing him against the wall. Like, I, I was just throwing him against yeah. the wall and screaming. I yeah. wasn't saying anything. I was just screaming. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember that to this day. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I got my you. big one. I don't remember it, but I, I got it good, back. Good, good for you. <laughs> good for you. Good for you. He probably ain't shit now anyway. He ain't. Know? Yeah, there you go. He ain't. There you go. It never, that type of shit, it always... Car- man, karma don't fail. She the realest no, bitch I know. She really is. She she'll, humbled me a couple times. Good she'll Lord. do that from time to time. Uh-huh. <laughs> she'll do that. Um, I'm looking at your left hand. I see a ring. Can you hold it up for a second? Oh, that thing is shining, ain't it? Shining and blinding, ain't it? So are are we engaged? What's what's the story behind that? Um, so I am engaged. Shalom. <laughs> Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm engaged to my best friend in the whole world. Is that important to have in a relationship? Um, Not even necessarily best friend, but the friend aspect. Um, And I mean, I say best friend just because, like, I live with him. You know, mm-hmm. he knows everything about me. I know everything about him for the most part, I think. I hope. We're going to talk later. Yeah, you do. He's a good uh, guy. <laughs> I can vouch for him. He's a yeah. <laughs> I yeah. can my man. Yeah, you know everything about him. There's no secrets. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we were really good friends before. Um, and then, you know, he was with somebody at the time. I was with somebody at the time, so it just didn't work out. Um, I mean, I had a crush on him, but he ain't no. Like, I'm real good at, like, like if I liked you, you would not think that I liked you. You would have no clue until I told you, hey, y'all, I'm feeling you. Like, Ralph, you have did you no know clue. yes or no? Be honest. You did it? Not I was ready to say, because women, no. they think they hide and they throw subliminal messages. She did a good job? Mm-hmm. All right. He actually that. thought I, I I was annoyed by him. Yeah, he thought I hated him. See? I, <laughs> I ain't going to say Okay. <laughs> yeah, he thought I hated him, and I was okay. like, why would you think that? But, you know, I had a, I had a little crush on him, because mm-hmm. I, was, I was actually talking to one of his friends at the time. Okay. And, boy, he was like, yeah, I want you to meet my niggas. And I'm like, all right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I'll meet him. Because he thought that if I was going to meet his friends, that I was going to want to be with him. That wasn't the case. But his friends pulled up. Ralph came up there. He had on a crop top. He had his abs busting out. I was like, damn, well, I wish I met this nigga first. <laughs> so you, where you was see he memes, at? You see, you see memes of that. Yes. <laughs> you yes. see memes of that where it'd be like, where his homeboy's finer than him type shit. <laughs> and I, I'm real, like, when I'm single, yeah. I've got real, like, nigga tendencies. What does that mean? Do you go after you what you want? Yes. Okay. So like the the dude that I was talking to, he knew. Like I literally told him to his face. I was like, I don't, we ain't, I don't like it like that. Good for you. Yeah. And he Good. still wanted me. So I was like, all right, you get hurt, you get hurt, my boy. <laughs> Ain't shit I can now, do see, for you. I, I can't do nothing for you, partner. I said good for you because you kept it a buck, but he still didn't want to face the fucking music. You yeah, know? Nah. He didn't care. Jesus. And then when when his friend pulled up and I, I was looking at him, he was like, uh, yeah, that's that's my friend. And I was like, yeah, I can see that. I, I was I didn't leave nothing to imagination. I literally we went did to the movies. Did he get it then? Huh? Did the dude did he get it then? Like did he? Okay, you clearly. No, he still Jesus, was trying. Bro. Still was trying. He didn't get it at all. God bless the real niggas. Yeah, God bless them. Cause we trying to put it. We trying to we trying to put that shit out there. You know what I mean? Like you gotta realize shit like that. Bro. Yeah, God and damn. that's why I keep it a buck with them because I want them to you know be you able did the to. Right thing. Yeah, I'm not gonna lead you he on. He was not trying to let you go for shit. No. You did the right thing. Thank you. You did. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. Um, but my bad. Continue. And I got what I wanted at the end of the day. So. Right. You got your best friend. <laughs> yes. You got your. Fiance? Yes. You got your business partner? Yes, exactly. Right? Mm-hmm. And I say that because earlier when we talked about OnlyFans, that's when you do do, you know, collab yeah. content, that's what you're talking about with your man and whatnot. Yeah, uh huh. I only do, you know, content with, with him. Um he helps to manage the page. He helps to respond to weirdos that I don't like to respond to. Like he'll correct I'm a, it, you know. I'm gonna be honest. I love that for y'all. Thank you. <laughs> I truly love that for y'all. Shout out to Callie. She was telling me how like her brother does something like that oh, in yeah. a sense, like her the dude manages mm-hmm. like the. I love that for y'all. Yes, I've been because a... it's overwhelming, and really? then especially if they're saying something crazy to you, and mm-hmm. like you're already overwhelmed, it's like uh, I don't want to have to deal with this. Like I don't want to have to respond. So wait, he'll so they, help. so so they know that you do content with your dude, and they still yeah. come crazy. Oh yes, Ralph. <laughs> 
They don't care. Your response is whatever they've been like. Have you ever like came fully at them? Like said the picture of you. Like nigga, what the fuck are you talking about? No, I don't have to. I okay. don't make them think that I'm hurting. I bring them straight up. Like so. So for those who couldn't hear, Ralph said he makes them think that he's her. I fuck with Ralph, by the way, man. You a jiggy dude, man. You a jiggy dude. Where yeah. you from, Ralph? I'm from here, born and raised. From Charlotte. Yeah. I fuck with your vibe, bro. The cowboy yeah. hat, the boots, I fuck with it, man. Yeah. Are you a Dallas Cowboys fan? Okay. <laughs> That's what I was about to say. <laughs> I, saw, I saw the Eagles. All right. Just make it short. I'm going to leave that to you. Yeah. Just, just make it short. Just make it short. How did y'all meet you and Ralph? <sighs> this is a story, ain't it? Oh, shit. All right. Hold on. Let Let's me get comfortable. It. Okay, so we met th that night, the night where he brought his friends. He was one okay. of the friends. Uh -huh. So we met that night. We became good friends. Um, and then we just, we weren't really all that close. We didn't talk too much. Um, but I knew he had someone. I had someone at the time. It wasn't his friend no more. I was talking to this new dude. Um, but we actually started getting a little more comfortable with each other because he was starting to confide in me about like his relationship issues. And then I started confiding him about my relationship issues. So we just got close. Mm -hmm. um, and it finally got to the point where, you know, we left ours alone or whatever. And he was doing what he was doing, you know, being a nigga. Mm -hmm. And the girl that he was, you know, messing with, she wanted to meet me because she had issues with the dude that I was talking to that was his friend. So, like, she wanted to bond with me. Yeah, okay. So the dude that I was talking to uh -huh. before I started talking to Ralph, uh -huh. she talked to him at one point, too. Uh -huh. And she hated him the same way I hated him. So we was bonding off of the hatred towards him. Towards him. Okay. You got it. I got it. We now. here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got yeah it. so it was that. Yeah. Um, and then, so I, I came over to meet her. Um, <laughs> and we got this nigga drunk. We got him so drunk. And she was like giving me the fuck me eyes. And I was like, I'll do it. I was like, girl, don't do that. Yeah. And she was like, what? And I was like, because you, you're going to start something. And all three of y'all were in the same vicinity? Yeah, in the same vicinity. All right, go ahead. I said, girl, don't start nothing. Yeah. And then she was like, well, when I, when I drink, I, I do get a little, you know, mm -hmm. curious. And I was like, say no more. And <laughs> the rest is history. <laughs> So yeah, that's that's technically how we got romantic with so each other. So that was how you got romantic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. We 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 banged we banged a girl with together. This nigga Ralph, yo. <laughs> okay, so that's how y'all got romantic. That's how y'all got intimate. Yeah. All the above. That's how. And then after that, that was like okay. Oh, so what happened after that? Like, was it just like okay? Was this like a fling thing, or was it like okay? We oh actually feeling each other. I can't believe we're going into this story, bro. <laughs> Um, we are here. This is shit. day by motherfucking day. Okay. You ain't got to if you don't want to. So, because you know how I told you when I pulled up, that this area seemed we, we familiar. Gonna, yeah, yeah, we're going to get into that story next. Yeah. So, um, she she kind of she kind of went a little crazy. I think she was digmatized. Mm. Um, she got real possessive. Over one over of y'all or both of y'all? Okay. Over him, yeah. Okay. And like I'm the type of I'm the type of bitch like I already know what I exude. I've got this divine femininity going on. Yeah. So if he want to be here, he gonna be over here, right. and I don't gotta fight for nothing. Right. I don't gotta you know fight my position with anybody. Right. I'm not doing that. She was doing a lot of it. Like mm -hmm. if she found out that he was over my house or if he was helping me with something, she caught an attitude. Um, I remember we all went to the movies after that, and like I had rode with him. So did y'all try like a poly Hell relationship? No. Absolutely not. I mean, it sounds like y'all was hanging out together and whatnot. Yeah, we were hanging out as friends, uh, but okay. like we were trying to just keep the whole friend thing going because, okay. like, for me and especially for Ralph, it was just like it was just a fun thing. Like, because yeah. he started feeling me, I started feeling him, so mm -hmm. we were just like, no, we just want to, we're gonna keep hanging out with her because you know she seems like a cool person, right? She got real territorial, bro. Like, when we went to the movies, I rode with him. And when we were leaving, she was like, you're riding with me, niece. And I was like, uh, okay. Uh. <laughs> I was like, damn, I guess I'm riding with yeah, you, shorty. So she was trying to be the pitcher in the situation. Yeah, she got real um, territorial. There was mm. even a point where she, like, locked me out of the room so that he and her would be in the room together damn. without me. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. she tried to lie and say she didn't do that. And I oh, was wow. like... Girl, I literally couldn't get in the room. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, uh, they say all is fair in love and war. So yeah. despite that, 
mm-hmm. it worked out between y'all two. Yeah, we've been <laughs> together like, for yes. almost two years now. So shalom, shalom. Um, so I am currently located in Noda, uh-huh. part of Charlotte. I'm not yeah. going to say the exact location just for precautionary reasons. Yeah, yeah. Um, and my neighborhood is you know kind of ducked off, cold, whatever. But when you pulled up, you said nostalgia hits you with as far as where I live. <laughs> I didn't understand why. I still don't. So I just wanted a little, you know, context behind that. If you don't mind, you don't have to say anything you don't want to on this show. Let me just make no, that no, clear. No, no, first no, no, no. I'm transparent. Thank you. I'm an open book. I like that. Okay. So the reason why I said that is because she lives in the same area. Oh, the girl you was talking about. <laughs> yeah. Damn. When did she move out? <laughs> I I don't know. We we lost contact with her because she got crazy, bro. Just missed her. We had to block her on everything. Just missed her. <laughs> on what you wanted to turn to? Yeah. I mean, it was good. Just missed her. It was all right. I wouldn't suggest, actually, I don't know. She moaned kind of weird. I'm not going to hold Oh, you. that's the worst. <laughs> she moaned kind of weird. I would, give, I would give you a demonstration, but... I can't. I can't. Like I literally you want can't. To? I had a joint. Yo, I had a joint that mo- <laughs> that moaned like a fucking donkey. That is no exaggeration, bro. My cousin can vouch for R.I.P. Kendall. I love you, boy. He can vouch for that shit. She moaned like, and I just could not believe that shit. Like, if I wasn't so turned up and horny, I would. I would have got up out of there. Yeah, push it to the side real quick. That's yeah, what I wanted yo. to do. She would like. I don't know how to describe it. Was like, it high, low pitched? It was both. Really? Like at the same time. Wow. Like it would be, I don't, boy, I could try it for you, but it's not going to sound anything like it. And I'm going to just embarrass myself. Look That's key. cool. But she, it was so bad. Like every time she opened up her mouth to moan, I would be looking at Ralph like, mm. this what you, this what you brought here? Like, mm. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I fucked her too, so I can't say nothing. But you know, yeah. so, okay, it so was so bad. So do y'all turn out on y'all like on OF and whatnot? Do y'all turn stuff out? Like, what do you mean, have, like, like, a, have like, a third? Yeah, do we have like a plug? Is it like a plug talk type thing going on? Like, what's? Um, I mean, it's open. It's mm. it's open. It's a, it's an open suggestion. We haven't done anything like that yet, though. Um, there is this one girl who keep hitting me up. Seem like she wants some. Yeah. <laughs> well, are you considering? I have, I have standards. Because you are the gatekeeper. I am. You are the gatekeeper. I am. Yeah. I have standards, though. She she all right. Yeah. She all right. Got you. Um, I'm sorry. I have to use the bathroom. Give me 30 <laughs> fucking seconds. <laughs> was, was it the tequila? Tequila. <laughs> I was holding off the damn fucking light. <laughs> What's funny is I couldn't tell that you had to pee. I was... <laughs> I never do this. You never I was do doing this. I never do this. I was doing that for like the good past 10, 15 minutes. That shit was hitting me. <coughs> yeah, that shit was crazy. Do you, so let me ask you something. Do you have like the typical like red tattoo on like a light skinned woman? Do you have one of those? I have zero tattoos. Why so? I'm scared of needles. Mm. I don't like needles. I don't even like getting shots. Like I, I'll, I'll eat these all day. Like the ones where they put like but right what about, here. Like, they would have to pop that vein out. Fuck no. Do you I'll have to fight look away somebody. And... I have to look at it. How does so? How does that go? Like when you actually get the shots or whatnot? Like, it hurts like a bitch. Yeah. And I want to fight whoever just gave me that shot. Damn. Yep. I don't like shots. I don't like needles. I don't like none of that shit. <laughs> what about pain? Do you like pain? I love pain. So. How do we bridge that gap? Okay, hold on, hold on. Because what we're now about to do is that. Okay. Needles is a different type of pain. That it is. It's a whole different type of pain. It's a pain pain going in your skin. Exactly. Yeah. I don't fuck with that. Uh So, like, I don't do no knife play or nothing like that. I don't do that because that's needles. It's in the same same category. It's needle category. So, like, I like pain, like... (laughs) <laughs> she wouldn't write at Ralph like, by the way while she said that. Because he be scared low key. Like he'll be wanting to hurt me or whatever. And I'm like, nigga, hurt me. What are you talking about? Um but I don't blame <laughs> yo. Let me say something about that. I'm not mad. I should have got a third or fourth fucking mic. I'm not mad at that you about that, Ralph. I had a joint, yo. I had a joint. She literally wanted me to bite her fucking nipple so it broke the skin, bro. I'm like, what the fuck do you mean? See that's that shit I'm talking about. <laughs> It sounds like a good. It sounds like that would feel. Consciously, good. we can't. Subconsciously and consciously, we cannot do that shit. Why not? Cause what the fuck? We're giving you consent. Yo, fuck me up. Jesus. What's so hard to understand about that? 
because like that's just not humanly natural. It is. A so, lot of people do it. Animals do it. Animals do what? Fuck animalistically. Like what animal? To the point where they to the point where they to the point do do lions dig their claws into their part? Yeah, now centipedes is different. They, they rip their partner's heads off. Oh. Well, I'm I'm not asking for all that. But if we're talking I, like lions and lionesses, do they like dig their yeah, claws in their they, partners they, and like shred they, their skin off? Well, okay, no. I mean, <laughs> that breaks the skin. They bite each other while they're you know you know in in, in intercourse. Uh -huh. They bite each other and not you know they move. they grip each other and stuff. And it's yeah. not it don't seem like it's the most comfortable. Right. It's to elicit because from pain comes pleasure. So like if you have yeah. like I like. Yeah, you never, saying, you never, know. have you never done any of that? Like I'm not you never whipped. I Why not? What the, for what? There's <laughs> nothing out of that that is an advantage or a pleasure for me. I'm not talking at about all? me personally, it's for men. Nah. You got to realize when it comes to sex, our shit isn't our dick and balls. Right. For y'all, it's your whole body, head to toe, and y'all mental. Yes. And spiritual. Yes. It's the whole shebang. For us, it's friction. So you never got your balls slapped? No. Or stepped Inis, on? No. <laughs> I'm not letting get my balls slapped, Why kicked not? in the balls. I know some dudes do like, not personally. Yes, I'm I have a lot of people in my OnlyFans that want me to do it. No. I have one who wants me to walk him like a dog. No. He has a leash and everything. Because he's a bitch. <laughs> Literally and figuratively, he wants to be treated like a bitch, which is cool. I'm not saying yeah. like he's wrong for that. Yeah. I'm just saying like he's a bitch, so he wants to be in that state to the fullest extent. Yeah. I don't move like that. Okay, so you don't have no type of like humiliation kink either. Humiliation? Yeah, you never heard of humiliation kink? As in like break? I think I know what you're saying, but can you break that down just? So for I me? have I have OnlyFans subscribers who yeah. want me to tell them just how pathetic they are. So I'll send them like voice messages, like because a lot of them have girlfriends. So they'll tell me like, "Oh, my girlfriend just left." Can you talk to me? Like, I'll pay you such and such. Before I even start, they'll send me like $100 or $200 just for me to talk to them. So I'll tell them, like, you're so fucking pathetic. I bet when you fucked her, she didn't even feel anything. How does that make you feel? I bet you're wondering who I'm fucking and it's not you. I bet you would be sitting in the corner beating your dick or so something like that. They want to hear all of that and they love it. And then they'll ask me permission to touch themselves. And I'll say, no. You have you don't have any you can't do that no, and they ask me why and they call me Empress, that's my name and if they don't call me Empress there's a fee they have to pay. That's that dom shit right? Absolutely. That, that's the dom shit. I feel like it's a win win for me. Oh yeah, you. I what? get to treat yes. niggas like shit and I get yes, paid. Yes, you get paid. Yes. I was like, I'm in the wrong business. <laughs> I mean, you could get into the... Okay, here's here's what men don't understand. You can get into this business as easily as I am in it. Lay it but out. your audience... How does that happen? Your audience is not women. It's not. Your audience is men. How did you know that? Because you're a nigga. Hmm. Girl, do you... Who, but your what, who audience do you know? is men. Yeah. So who gets the women audience? No one. <laughs> Fucking hey. I mean, I get some women audience. I get some women in my audience, but they are also content creators on OnlyFans. So, like, we'll subscribe to each other's pages, you know, as support. Yeah. But. Uh, so it's not like a lot of women that's tuning in your shit to get off. Yeah. It's mostly men. Mostly men. What do you say, like 90, 95 percent? Yeah. Most. Yeah. That's a good number. Yeah. But, I mean, you could get into it. You just have to be comfortable with the fact that you're going to be. Catering to a, a male audience. <laughs> well, what I, one thing I do want to get into is like ASMR, like erotic stories and whatnot. Yes. Because when I first started the pocket, <laughs> gave a sample. Do you want to put your thorn in it like you said before? Yeah, like like the the like gulping like. Oh, that's that's big money right there. <laughs> that's big money. Dudes will pay money if for I that. If I had some fucking food in here, I'd be in here like. Oh man, your fans will love that. <laughs> I've always wanted to try it. Yeah. Like I saw, I saw this girl who mixed her OnlyFans content with ASMR content. Uh -huh. and she would literally like her her little area would be wet, and mm -hmm. she would literally be playing with it on the and microphone. The yes, and you would hear the little like. Yo, dudes are busting at that. <laughs> yes, hands down. <laughs> Definitely, hands down. <laughs> I want to get into like ASMR erotic stories and whatnot. 
like when I first started the podcast up until now, but like especially when I first started, what people really saw, oh, he does a podcast. Yeah. Like every other week, I would say like a different like chick would hit me and be like, yo, your voice with like the hard eyes joint. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, all right, I need it. I've just been bullshitting heavy, mm -hmm. heavy, but I'm going to get into that shit. You should. Yeah. Then you'll have a woman audience. Yes. Women love that shit. And I can sell sex toys and all that. Yes. I'm bullshitting. My mom is probably listening like, nigga, I told you. <laughs> My mother told me this shit for months now. Uh, I just yeah. been bullshitting, man. <laughs> I just been bullshitting. You should. That was what I. That's what introduced me to my sexuality, like reading eroticas and shit, mm. and then actually having an erotica that has the, um, like the audio book instead of you just reading it yourself. Yeah, yeah, that's what I would do. Audiobook. That shit. Oh my goodness. So what part did you like? The man's voice or the woman's voice or both? Both. Really. Both. I have someone in mind who has a great voice. Women. Mm. Yeah. Because my regular talking voice is, you know, it's it's normal. It's real, like... Yeah, yeah, it is. But, like, I've, I've done some... It's not, like, actual, like, sex worker, like, sex caller shit. Uh -huh. But I've done stuff that kind of mimic it. Yeah. And I've been told that it, I, I could do something like that. But I Absolutely. just haven't. I just haven't. Have you ever, like, collaborated or involved, like, like the, uh, the sex work, like you say, with music? Or do you completely plan on keeping those two separate? So I was planning on keeping it separate. Mm -hmm. uh, but after talking to JD, my my uh, people, it, it makes more sense to kind of use it together, um, especially because the song is called Ecstasy. Yeah. It's called Ecstasy. Right. So, like, it just, it makes sense to, you know, make some cute little content. And it's not, it doesn't even have to be anything crazy, you know? Ah. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, it, like you said, it has to be, like, a completely built bridge, but yeah. somewhat of a you know connector between the two yeah. I, I think will make sense yeah because i want them to be able to find me everywhere yeah so yeah i feel like that would be smart to do the type of music that you made with ecstasy and that you anticipate on making moving forward how would you label it party music fun party music like i don't take myself too seriously as you can tell i love having fun i free just spirit. very free spirit yes That's good. Um, so I feel like ecstasy especially is just such a like tribute to girls who just want to go out and have fun and be bad bitches and just exude this like free spirit energy. Mm -hmm. um, so, I, I mean, I feel like a lot of the records that I'm planning on making one in the mix already. So I just feel like a lot of that is going to just pertain to feeling good like you want to dance when you hear my music you yeah. want to just like repeat the same phrase over and over because it's catchy it's catchy yeah. as fuck so you just yes it's, yeah I've only, I've only been listening for a day and a half and it's, it's catchy in my head it's catchy yeah. yes and it's, and it's great for content absolutely great for partying yes that's a good recipe if you ask me oh yeah because i'm i'm always in the clubs like mm. i i love going out going to the clubs the lounges um, so that's really what helped JD really to like, you know, get a feel for the type of music I would be, you know, good at making. Mm -hmm. Um, so that definitely helped. I love the club scene. So yeah. now that I'm able to actually make club music, mm -hmm. it's just, it's good. lovely. Good, good. <laughs> um, and you plan and you anticipate for at least vast majority of the the music to come to be kind of in that realm yeah yeah because yeah. right now i feel like it's like a party girl era like you know city it girls is. we up era you know yeah. what i'm saying so like i feel like my music will definitely cater to you know those shorties women women in general or music in general women are killing it at the top body in that shit it's it's not even close pussy power pussy power so let me ask you speaking of that pussy power <laughs> With like your sexy reds and ice spices and the uh, Lola, I forgot. Um, but <laughs> I was she's say, who Lola? I, I just Lola something <laughs> like just the women. Yeah, it's vast. You know what I'm saying? But what do you say to like the dudes that always have usually dudes that always have something negative or bashful to, to say yeah. towards the women's music? Like, what do you have to say towards that? What kills me about that mm -hmm. is that. They'll always hone in on the, oh, she's talking about sex. She's talking about this. She's mm -hmm. being slutty, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Nigga, in your song, you was just saying how you bent her and all her friends over. And Gucci flip-flops. And that part. <laughs> like, why is it so easy for y'all to do it, but when we do it, we hoes? Yeah. Make it make sense. Mm -hmm. I just, I feel like it, it just doesn't make any sense. I feel like they... 
for lack of a better word, some of them be jealous for real. Like, because we're women. So when we talk about sex, when we talk about doing sexual things, more people are going to listen to it. For men, that is a, that's a traditional characteristic for men to dominate, to, you know, fuck someone. That That's like a thing. Like you said, the whole high school nude thing. If a dude got his dick pic sent everywhere, they'd be like, yeah, my nigga, that's what's mm-hmm. up. It's different for women. So yeah. now that women are feeling empowered and talking about stuff like that, niggas are like, nah. Mm. Well, guess what? Fuck y'all. Like, yeah. That's that's really it. <laughs> and it's and it's been happening, just not as yeah. fast as it is now. Right now, it's every it's it's all over. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I think before it was probably only like a few black sheep's, like little mm-hmm. Kims and oh, Foxy yeah. and whatnot. But now it's like everyone, and I think it's overwhelming for dudes that ain't used to it. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be completely honest as a dude when it comes to shit like that. I don't. As far as the shit that a lot of female artists talk about, me personally, I don't care for it. Yeah. When I listen to music, I listen to shit that I can relate to. Right. That's why I like Jay-Z. That's why I like Nip. That's why I like Yo Gotti. Because it's shit that I can relate to. Right. So when it comes to women music, like when they talk about that shit, I know women's songs. I know what they're doing. But when it comes to that shit, I'll probably listen to a little bit of it, but I turn it off because I like to listen to shit I can relate to. Right. But with that being said, one thing that I can, you know, give admiration about towards like the women or whatnot, especially Sexy Red. Oh, yeah. With the, my, what was it, my pussy pink, my booty hole brown. <laughs> Back up with my round. Yeah. My coochie pink, my booty, booty hole, hole brown. brown. <laughs> yeah. A lot of dudes hate that shit. Like, yo, what the fuck is this? This is trash. What does music come to? Let me be honest with you. Hmm. For a hot second, I was one of them. Oh, my God. I was. Mm-hmm. This is a truthful platform. Yep, yep. But I really sat back and evaluated this shit. I'm like, you know what? Let me let me really... I, I was I was six, seven years old listening to Lil' Kim. Not yes. really listening to what she was talking about, but then now I know what she was talking about. Right. You know what I mean? On on Magic Stead, on yes. uh, uh, You Got It Going On, what, what all that mm-hmm. shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I realized, okay, it's the same exact fucking difference. Same exact difference. But one thing I like is that, like, these women that are doing that shit, for one, they have the women's support. They do. And everybody knows that if you want anything to pop, you get the woman to follow it first and exactly. foremost. And it's not just, like, the women, like, listeners. Other women artists are banding together and supporting, too. All over. That's yes. why I like Cardi B. Mm-hmm. And then for two, they are very unapologetically them. Period. Which I I really like that about sexy red. A lot yeah. of people she be talking she be talking some ratchet ass shit about she fucking do. raw and <laughs> yeah. all this type shit. But yo, like I like like the more I see her, mm-hmm. it's like two things happen when you see sexy red. The more you see her, either you get annoyed by it, be mm-hmm. like, yo, this nasty, dirty, ratchet, filthy bitch, mm-hmm. or you be like, yo, I really fuck with Shorty for being her to the fullest, mm-hmm. and she was she been that too. Exactly. Like, if you look at her past content, yeah. past photos, she's always been on that type time. Always. Which I respect. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, how you how you get mad at her? Because she's always been her from day one. Exactly. But she don't get mad at Drake. Who, exactly. You know what I mean? Was an actor for the first 16, 17 exactly. years of his life. Now he, you know what I'm saying? In a wheelchair in the grass. You know, he come, acting like he whore. Come, come on, on now. now. So it's it's mixed up. But, you know, I, I, I definitely admire that as far as the female artists of today and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And I like your avenue because you didn't take the, um, the party music is a great route to take. You know what I'm saying? Shout mm-hmm. out to you. Shout out to JD for yes. you know realizing that that's what it takes because y'all didn't take the, oh, let me do what Sexy Red doing. Oh, let me do what Ice Spice doing. Right. Because you see a lot of that. Not yeah. saying it won't work, but it's not as easy to do something that someone else did in the exact same way, exact same route. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. kind of like the stock market. Once the shit yeah. is hot, you know what I'm saying? If you try to join it when it's hot, it's kind of too late. Yeah, because like Ice Spice came out and there were so many people, like there were especially people from the UK trying mm. to do the same sort of sound and mm. the same videos and yeah. the same everything. Like I can't, I can't get behind it. It's so weird to me. Like yeah. Ice Spice, yes, yeah, she does. What is it? Like drill music? It's called drill music. So I get it, but she has this special sort of, like, girl power over it, Mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Like, her voice, just who she is, how she is in videos, like... I was, I definitely was one of the one of the main people when she first came out where I was like, this shit is basura, bro. This shit is Mm -hmm. ass. But after a while, I was like, I started to get it. I was like, oh, okay. Like, you know, this makes sense. This is pretty girl music. How can I choose if I'm already chose? Let me tell you, the past, like, (laughs) month, the past month, 
every female content creator, whether they have a thousand followers or a hundred thousand, yeah. every single one with like the past month, probably longer than that. Like all of their videos have a Ice Spice song yeah. playing in the background. That's no just... matter what you want to say about it, I'm saying every video I've come across has Ice Spice playing in the background. She's everywhere, especially after she linked up with Nicki. Oh, it's a wrap. That's all. It's it right. When she came out with Princess Diana, yeah. you can at bruh. I literally, when that video came out, yeah. I was like, everybody shut up. Everybody yeah. shut the fuck up. I'm putting this video on right now. Yeah. <laughs> And that's important for the Nickies and the Cardis of the world to kind of give back. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're not just kicking their feet up like, you know, I'm the queen of this shit. I've been here forever. Like, mm -hmm. that's that. Nah, they really give back. Like, they see these younger artists, like, when Meg was coming up. Like, yeah. they see these younger artists, Meg, Ice Spice, and whatnot, and they collab with them and, you know, give give back and help rise them even more. Right. Which is important. Right. So, with that being said, if you could ask any, if you could have anybody collab on a song with you, who would you pick? Oh, shit. Okay, I was asked that question before. I think I might change my answer, though. I think I would want Dochi on a track. Dochi? Is that Dochi Cat? No, Dochi. Oh, Dochi. You don't, don't know, know who Dochi, Dochi is? I don't, <gasps> I don't know Dochi. Dochi or Dochi? Even you just saying that is making my it? skin itch. I'm pretty sure she's fire, but... She's fire, I'm bro. I'm very stubborn you know, when it you comes to my music. You ever heard of She's so persuasive. The okay, I've heard that. Yeah, yeah. That's her. That her? her. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, that Bruh. makes sense then because I can see her. Yes. And I can see the chemistry. I can see the She's similarity everything. in chemistry. One, okay. it's, it's the, you know, similar chemistry. Mm -hmm. Two, it's just I feel like she has worked so hard in the industry. And yeah. I feel like she hasn't really gotten her flowers yet. Mm. And she deserves some flowers because she is, oh my gosh, she's a beast. Yeah. A beast. Nice. But I'm going to tell you, mm -hmm. listen to Crazy. Crazy. By Dochi. Oh my God! It's better than Crazy by Charles Barkley. Well, Charles Barkley. No, I was about to say that's not his <laughs> name. <laughs> I was about to say hmm. Charles Barkley. No, uh, what's his real name? Charles Barkley. Green? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like it's a different category, so I can't really say one is better than the other because yeah. they both they both go crazy. But so, Crazy, crazy by Dochi, it, right. that shit. I'm gonna is... play it after this. I'm going out tonight, so I'm gonna play it when I'm drunk and as you should. Yeah. You're gonna be lit as fuck, bro. Okay, bet. You're gonna be lit as fuck. Nice. Don't crash your car, like. Oh, I'm not. Be I calm. Well, I, I'm I'm right next to Uptown. I don't get okay. drunk, drunk. Like I don't get yeah. shit faced. Oh, okay. I just get sh I just get faded schmizz. Like I don't I don't go crazy. Like oh, okay, yeah. yeah. I don't either. I, I I blacked out in college before, and that just that kind of yeah. Blacking out's not fun. Yeah, that solidified it for me. I don't want to yeah. get crazy drunk no more. Yeah. Yeah, that's not fun. I'm twenty four. I gotta calm down. Yeah. As I drink more alcohol. Hey, we're here for a good time. <laughs> We are here for a good time, possibly a long time, but definitely a good time. Yeah, definitely. Um, with your music wise, let's say, cause time is flying. I don't want to say a year. It is, yeah. Let's go two to three years from now. Mm. What do you see yourself in the uh, music realm two to three years from now? Oh, that's a good question. Um, well, first off, I definitely want to take the opportunity to like shout out to Major Music. JD, bands, those are my people. Cause like before them, I didn't even really have any sort of time frame to go off of. Mm -hmm. I didn't think that I would get back into music at all. Mm -hmm. Um, so now seeing how far ecstasy is going in such a short time, I just dropped that shit like what, Friday? Just dropped it Friday and it's already just taken off and it's so what has it done? Let's shout out the accolades. Bruh, like as of today, by the time it's dropped, it'll probably like quadruple or like Jesus. 10 times it but as of now what is what is what everyone's is playing it reposting it i skate so i have a skate community who's using it for you know their skating videos um i've been able to meet the gnarly uh the gnarly brothers what are they called Gnar the gnarly boys okay and i didn't even realize i was meeting them until like i really looked at him and i was like he looked familiar and he wanted a gnarly i was like oh, i can't be him and then I got home and he had, they had followed me on Instagram and I was like, the gnarly boys, are, was all the two that the was gnarly the boys, jump? yes. Okay. I love them. All right. They're so full of energy That's and hard. like life. Yeah. And they were telling me like, oh yeah, it's so cool to meet you. And yeah. I was like, right. it's cool to meet me? Right. Like, what? So that, that definitely made me feel just like so like grounded in mm -hmm. this because it's easy to have my head in the clouds because like a lot of it doesn't feel real. Yeah. But when you actually get to meet other people who like 
went on tour and like yeah. actually have songs out and did stuff for Drewski on TV, all that. Mm-hmm. And, and they tell you that it's cool to meet you. Mm-hmm. That centers you immediately because yeah. you're like, oh, shit. Yeah. OK. Um, so what's a real right? Yes, yeah. like it's just it feels so surreal because mm-hmm. like obviously being in the studio felt good, but like it it felt like playtime. I was like, oh, this is pretend. Yeah. And then JD was like, yeah, we dropping that shit Friday, and I was like, oh, <laughs> oh, this is for real. real. Yes. So it it just it feels real good to be where I'm at now. Um, with just one record dropping. It, it feels good to have a lot of support and a lot of people who actually fuck with it and mm-hmm. like actually share it. I don't have to ask. I don't I don't have to ask. They're just like, oh yeah, no, I got you. Like, uh send me the record so I could post it to a video. Like it's just immense support and it's so crazy. That's why it's good that you had the following yeah. before the yes. music dropped, right? Yes. I'm pretty sure J D that was the strategy or that at least <laughs> took some part in the strategic <laughs> planning for it. Yes. Which makes perfect fucking sense. Oh, like yeah. why not? Right. Right? It makes it that much easier. That's why I said Instagram is free marketing and promotion. It really is. Right? Yeah. yeah. Like and and you're using it that's the second great avenue that you used it for first was the only fans how you said you use content to kind of you know create like a sales funnel for the only fans but then the same thing for the music right right the music mm-hmm. you get paid for mm-hmm. the only fans you get paid for mm-hmm. ig you don't right next up is youtube let me just say that yeah i'm trying it's money YouTube. I'm, try- I'm trying to get that i'm trying to get that figured out <laughs> it's money in youtube it is money in youtube i posted one video already but i forgot to turn the camera to like landscape mode so it's like this so, yes and it looks it looks so bad. My brother, he's a famous YouTuber. Uh-huh. So he called me and he was like, Enis, what the fuck is this? Mm. <laughs> so it's like extra small because it's the this on top of this inside of that? Sort of. Like it's 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 just it's just vertical. So like yeah. being that I tried to make it bigger, it also kind of pixelated the uh... fucking Yeah. So I, I fucked up. First video I fucked up. Yeah. And my brother yeah. called me and was like, Girl, the next video that you pose landscape mode Absolutely. <laughs> and i was like okay <laughs> absolutely yeah yeah now it happens it happens because i'm so used to the vertical because tiktok instagram like you just set your phone up and, and it's fine but youtube you is have, a completely different yeah, thing and, you, and, it, and it's weird because like i find myself like because i'm i do eagles content mm-hmm. for the eagles and whatnot um and i started it last year on ig but i'm like okay i want to kind of take it to new heights yeah so i'm ready to create a youtube channel for it but it's like IG is where it started because right. I was in Philly for the Super Bowl. Okay. And a random dude came up to me. He was like, yo, you the nigga that be making the Philly, Philly, the, uh, you the, you the Philly, you the Eagles Bowl that be making the videos. You know how they talk up there. Yeah. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck he was talking about. He was like, yeah, you on IG, you the Eagles Bowl. I'm like, yeah, damn. So this shit reached Philly. So I'm like, I got to go hard. But it's like, okay, YouTube has a vast audience, but it's it like does, you have to yeah. do landscape. Exactly. But IG is where it started and it can kind of spread quicker. So it's exactly. like how do you, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. But, yeah. No. YouTube is a different ballpark. I'm trying to figure it out. Same way I cracked the code for Instagram. I'm just trying to do that Trials for and tribulations. Yeah. Trials it's and hard. tribulations. You'll find out. Are you doing a music video for ecstasy? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I actually, I just posted um, a story about the, the video. So I want all of I just I have a lot of girlfriends who already want to be a part of it. Badass bitches, mm. just beautiful. Yeah, I'm sure it's going to be a sight to see. Yes, and I need I feel like I need more because I have a, a good amount that want to be a part of it. Mm-hmm. But like in order to really figure out you know how the video is going to go, where we want to do it, I I just want a gang of bitches. I just want a gang of every, all the baddest bitches in Charlotte. Sounds good. Even to me. if you're not in Charlotte, if you're trying to fly out, yeah. come through. Yeah, that's what I want. I so, want ecstasy to be. Big. So let's 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 dive into the mental a little bit. Oh, here we go. So we have a we have a gang of bad bitches, like you said. A gang, yes. So then, like, what do you see with what do you see happening with this gang of bad bitches and the actual video? Like, what do you? Let's get into director mode. Like, what do you see happening? Like, what will really make the ecstasy pop with this gang of bad bitches for your music video? Um. So, ass shaking. Of course. Yeah. Where at? The camera see, just you, going in you, and out of the uh, booty. The booty going like this, uh-huh. the camera going like this. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Do you have a specific like setting? Um, so shit, we we've been playing with a couple of different ideas, like, you know, like house party or like, you know, outdoors, you know, uh 
shit like like bubble parties where bitches are just like wearing you know like skimpy stuff Mm -hmm. water everywhere bubbles everywhere just having Mm -hmm. fun so shit like that like shit that actually exudes like fun party club yeah um but we still want to make sure that the girls feel good and you know want to shake some ass because i I love i love some ass shaking god bless i love some ass shaking can i be there i don't even have to be in the music video can i just be there (laughs) You're definitely I'll, I'll, welcome. I will vlog yes. it and put it on my YouTube channel, yeah. like everything. Like I'll make it a good experience. Like I'll I'll create content out of it. But can I just yes, be there? Yes, absolutely. Like seriously, that I will bring a bottle and everything. As you fucking should. It sounds like a great time. I would, yeah, I would, I would, I would love to see that. That, would, that sounds like a great. Time. Oh yeah. Um. So what's to come with the? Uh, you know, we're here now. The present is ecstasy mm-hmm. and the future because we're talking about music videos that's going to come in the future. Yes. What else? Uh, future endeavors is happening in the music scheme. Well, I definitely am. Like I said, I'm already working on some new tracks, some new ideas. Um, nothing solidified yet. I, I, I definitely am looking forward to making more records. Um, I never thought that I would even be in this position, but I'm also thinking about what's coming for an album, all of that. So it's it's very... It's a little overwhelming, but it's it's a good overwhelming. That's a good, I was going to say, that's good. Yeah, it's a good feeling. Yeah. Um, um, but it's a lot, a lot that goes into it. Yeah. Um, so really just the future holds, a, whatever the fucking future holds, man. Like, I don't even want to label it or put it in a box. I'm just excited. I'm good. just super excited and already working on something else. So it's just like ecstasy was not it at all nah so much more to come always got to look forward yeah you can you can it's always you know it's chess not checkers you always gotta look you always gotta think of that next move even on your present move right always yeah it's like chess you know thinking a couple moves ahead Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying yeah what made you so what made you go with in a record and not an album to begin with so i feel like an album is just like too much to chew first like y'all know me and i have a good following and that's great but y'all don't know me for music Mm -hmm. so if i were to come out with an album i feel like it would be like whoa 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 there yeah got too much dip on your chip yeah (laughs) like like, calm down so i feel like the song rather than an album gives people a chance to like get a feel for me musically Mm -hmm. so like you know instead of an album like like a little ep like some couple three, four songs or whatever, something something slight to like really get people to understand who I am as an artist before I just drop an album on them. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I feel like I want to be a little bit more solidified in the, you know, music industry before I do that. Because, like, I don't know, I'm, I'm a perfectionist, so I don't want to just, like, go in there, you know, dick swinging. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I don't, don't want to go in there like that. Because yeah. I feel like it's just... It's tacky. I don't know. That's my opinion. Like, I don't want to go in there looking looking crazy, and I don't really know what I'm doing for real. Nah, it's it's a good idea with the just the single record. It's, it seems very strategical. Um, so shout out to JD for that. You mm-hmm. know, what I'm saying it really seems like he for one really knows what he's doing, and if it two has your best interest. Yeah, yeah, that's something that I really am happy about, and that's why ecstasy brings me so much joy. Yeah. Um, cause he from from the jump, cause like shit, the way that I met JD, I was actually doing promotions for his songs with my skating videos. So like he he and I, we've always been you know good, but I never knew that um he was. So supportive and so just like, I got you, whatever you want to do. I've never had that when it comes to like stuff like this. Mm -hmm. So when we actually got talking and he was telling me everything about, you know, what he wants, what he sees in me, the potential and what he can do. I just, I felt this overwhelming sense of like, I trust this nigga. Yeah. And it's been paying off. (laughs) Well, let's, let's, let me, let me ask you this final question. Mm. Um, how important is it to have that support and that team, right? Because you mm. can easily just be out here by yourself and people think that, you know, they'll get further by themselves because they're saving money, they're saving time. But you saying you felt that support from JD from day one, who day one. is your manager? Yeah. Okay. So what's, what's like uh, the importance, you would say, of, you know, having that support, that team, that management – Instead of just trying to, you know, do it by yourself, just rely on your content and that be the end all be all. It is so important because obviously, like I said, I'm a lone wolf. Well, initially I was a lone wolf. I, was, I did a lot by myself, like ran away from home, lived by myself, did everything by myself. So I know what comes with it. And trust me, a lot of it is rewarding. Yes, because you know that you're the only one doing it. Mm. 
But with that comes so much pressure that you could avoid by having help. So much depression, so much frustration, so much, why me? Why am I doing this by myself? Why don't I have any help? Blah, 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 blah. All that shit you could avoid by having a good family, a good support group around you. And there's so much that you don't have to worry about because you have that support group around you. I'm blessed enough to say that all I really have to worry about is posting content and getting in the studio. Mm. And the rest is either I help with or it's taken care of. And that's such a blessing. Like that's such a weight lifted off my shoulders because me doing my content, like me even trying to do music before, that's why I stopped doing music because I'm like, I don't know how to do this shit. Yeah. And I don't really have people who are willing to help me. Yeah. So like, you need a team. Like, be doing it by yourself, great. That's cute. That's cute. You did it by yourself. Awesome. Yeah. But shit, get a team. You can save so much trial and so tribulation. So much, yes. So much time, energy, and money. You yes. Know what I mean? All that. You, you know. got people to support you. If things are getting overwhelming, right. I could always call JD and be like, damn, bro, I am really overwhelmed. Yeah. He's not just there musically. You can talk to them, help you with your mental. Yeah. It, I just feel like it's it it takes a village. Yeah. It really does take a village, and it's it's very it's a humbling experience because it's like damn, like these people really care. Mm -hmm. You don't get that if you're doing it by yourself. Mm. I couldn't do this shit by myself. I would have lost my mind. And, sh and shout out to your support cast again while we're here. Shout out to Definitely. JD. Yes. Shout out to Bands with a yes. Z. Shout out Ralph. You know what I'm saying they all they all in the you know what I'm saying for those who can't you know they all in the they all in the background. You know what I'm they saying all in the they cut here. right now. <laughs> right, right, and they and they and they here rocking with Anise. You know what I'm saying? So that's just very important. So shout out to them. Yes. Shout out to Anise, of course, for joining. Um, shout out to y'all. Most importantly, for tuning in, whether you're watching on YouTube, listening on your respective podcast platform, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Day by Day Podcasts is everywhere. iHeartRadio as well, and Amazon Music as of now. So I thank y'all for that. Um, I just ask that you subscribe, like, share this shit out. Share this stuff out, my um, my bad mama. Share, share this stuff out. She said I can't cuss as much. Share this stuff out. You know what I'm saying? Just you know, refer it to a friend. That's all I ask. Um, I'm gonna drop everywhere that you can follow Enise. Um, I'm gonna drop your IG and your music in the bio. Yes, uh, on all, all, platforms. all platforms. Apple Music, I'll just drop Spotify. Your link tree. You have a link tree. I'll just, you, drop yeah. her, I'll just drop her link tree, and that leads to everything mm. that's in there. Um, thank y'all for tuning in. Thank you for Enise for dropping by, having great, great conversation. You're welcome. Thank you to my boy, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> but until next time, ladies and gentlemen, make sure that y'all stay safe, stay sane, yes. but most importantly, stay blessed. Peace.